Welcome to Ample Blazer's video tutorial and this video tutorial is basically going to be a Zendesk video tutorial on how to create a custom view. Now what you do is you've got your home screen dashboard on Zendesk you go to your view screen now you've got your default screens here now what you need to do is click on manage views and hopefully you've got admin access to Zendesk. This will take you to your view screen in the admin dashboard. Now I've created the view that I want but this is basically what you do. You click on add view and within the add view what you will see is you will see something like this. You give it a label or a title, you can give it a description, you can tell who's got access to it, you can give it to any agent or you can give it to yourself or or a agent within a specific group. Now because I only want to see it this is the only change I'm going to do and specifically this is for my paid invoices so I want to get a list of all the invoices, the jobs that I've done and got paid for. Now what happens then is we've got to do the conditions. So the top half of the conditions are ticket must meet all these conditions to appear in the view. So it is a must that it is an invoice ticket and it is a paid invoice. So within here we've got paid processing and unpaid. All I want to know is have I got paid? So this is that one and then we've got to give it a second um, condition. So I've chosen group and group is current user groups. So whatever the current user has access to in their groups so that you could have support group, you could have customer service group, you could have marketing group, whatever group they're in that covers all the groups that the current user is within. After that they're the mandatory uh, conditions and then you've got tickets can meet any of these conditions to appear in the view. So these are uh, flexible statuses so I've asked that I need to know um, status is solved and status is closed. So they're basically resolved tickets that I've got paid for and Zendesk as we know have two basically closed statuses. Now the solved one is when you solve it and then within a couple of weeks maybe a week or so it will go to closed and then once it's in closed you can create a follow-up ticket basically it's a brand new ticket but if it's solved you can reopen it and change the status to open or pending or on hold. Now once that's done um, you can preview it to make sure that this is working. So once you get a list, as you can see I've got a list of stuff. Once you've got that list you know that it's working. Um, you can scroll all the way down and you can hit save. Okay. Now to make sure that this is working for you, you go back to your views. You can click on home. Now to refresh with any changes like this that you make in Zendesk, you got to click F5, press F5 on your keyboard, let it refresh, it'll give you the new change that you've made in the system. And if you go to views, you can see under your views. So if it was a shared view, you'll see it here, but because I wanted it specifically for me, I can see paid invoices listed like so. And that's it. Thank you for watching.